Hi everyone, this is Linda, and I'm doing this video today on the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, or let's just call it universal um, health care, because this started back in the 1800s. As a matter of fact, um, let me see if I can find the correct date. I think it started in 1847 uh, with the Academy of Natural Sciences, and also the uh, American Orthopedic Association, and that's the oldest orthopedic association in the world, was established in 1887. Um, from the 1900s into the 1920s, insurance was called sickness insurance. Now, I went over thousands of, well, not thousands, I don't want to exaggerate. I went over hundreds of documents on this uh, because a lot of people are blaming Obama. Congress passed this. I don't like Obama. I think... Um, Frankly, let's just think about it logically. This man is, he doesn't have the brains to put together an Affordable Care Act. You think about it with all those pages and him having to know <clears throat> all the jar jargon that goes back to other pre-existing laws on health care. Um, this man no way came up with this. This has been going on since the late 1800s. And it is, and in, in 1965, Johnson got the medicine on the first step to being socialized, which was with Medicaid and Medicare. And they've been slowly creeping to get this universal health care. Now, Obamacare, I, I, I saw some people rant and rave about this, but I'm, I'm going to give you the general perspective of what I've been reading. I'll leave you a couple of links. It really doesn't say that there on these links, but this is after reading a bunch of paperwork. Um, what they really want to do is is let, because a lot of insurance companies are going to start failing now. Um, who's pushing this? Big Pharma and the government. Um, I mean, the computers, I guess, don't even work for the state, the state's enrollment thing. So what's going to happen is they're going to want to put a tax, a, a fair flat tax for everybody to get universal health insurance. And if you need a surgery or or something specific done, um, you'll have to go to a government payee, sign a form saying, you know, say you're on Social Security. Well, I'll let you take 30% out of my Social Security until my surgery is paid for. That is what universal health care is going to be. The insurance companies will be phased out unless you are very, very rich and can afford it. And this is a completely a division between um, your very, very, very rich, your rich to middle class, and your poor. Your rich to middle class are going to be paying the same rate, getting the same care as the poor. We're all going to be in the same bucket here, unless you are one of those who can go and get what you want. Um, doctors don't like this. I talked to a physician about this. Um, she said, actually, insurance companies used to fight for people's rights. Now insurance companies have been co-opted because it used to be sick insurance. Remember that it was insurance for sick people because they lost wages and they didn't need to lose wages. So they promoted health. Believe it or not, doctors promoted health, how to stay healthy. We're on the other side. Now we have just completely flip-flopped we want you unhealthy. Well, we don't. The government wants us unhealthy. Obama, this 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 part of Obamacare, it may take a year or two, will f fail, and eventually they will roll out the universal health care. If you're blaming Obama, well, go ahead and blame him, but he's not the architect of this. Um, like I said, this has been going on since 18, whatever date I told you, but at least the 1880s. Um, They've been trying to get this, and every single president has been on board trying to push universal health care along with the universal old world order. They need us all under their control. With the universal health care will come the mandated vaccines. We can't treat you because you, you've paid your tax, but you haven't taken your vaccine, and etc., etc. And this is probably when the death panels and so forth will come in, and if you're gunshot, somebody's practicing down the road, I can hear them. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I just wanted, uh, everybody's blaming the Obamacare on Obama. The Congress passed it. They didn't read it. Obama couldn't read it. I've tried reading it. I, I sat here for six months and tried to read it, and I did, because it refers you back to different places. 
Um, I mean, it, it would take me and 300 people to sit in a room to, to read even a quarter of it in a year's time. So um, this has been coming into play since, like I said, really the 1900s. Universal health care has been the goal. That way they can control the masses. Now what we need to do, don't register for the health care if you can. Pay cash if you can for a doctor. Or there are still some charitable doctors out there. But we're going to have to turn away from the system fast or we're going to be under the thumbs. It's, it's not just the insurance. It's everything. They're taking all our civil liberties away. The police. I believe that we need to have citizen tribunals for the police. I swear I believe the, the police are hijacked on steroids really bad. I mean, because they just flip out. Look at them. They get the big old necks, the big old builds, and they flip out just like that. They like to beat up people, even children, shoot little puppy dogs. Um, if, if our tax money is paying for it, we have the right to say they need to be checked for these steroids and other things. As far as them smoking pot, I think it'd chill them out a little bit. You know, I really do. I'd agree with them smoking pot. The steroids and the other drugs I think they're doing, mm -mm. Um, you know, if they, they want to use food as a weapon for people who receive food stamps, they want them to get drug tested. Um, my taxes and your taxes go to help people who need food. Um, and every time you purchase something that has a tax on it, you're paying taxes like gas or whatever. Um, you know, your power bill, your internet bill, everything, trash, uh, your income taxes, everything though is a tax. So I say we need to start, you know, the small tribunals or citizen tribunals and start insisting that judges also police and everybody else have to take drug tests. Uh, people on welfare, I could care less. They're, they are one percent of the people that are our problems. You know what I mean? And there are, will always be poor. And maybe we could help them if we could establish a better community. But society sucks and the government's made it that way. And this um, universal health care has been it's been in the making for over 100 years. And they say, I've heard that these people plan these things out that far in advance. So when people blame Barack Hussein Obama, he's just the puppet in place for them to blame. He's not going to be there the next session, you know. So he'll go down as that, but they'll pay him really well as the guy who passed the Affordable Care Act, which will fail, like I said. They need it to fail because they want a... If you need surgery, they want you to have to go to a government payee where you sign your home or your life over so you can pay your surgery. And Big Pharma will be able to experiment on you. We have got to stop this from happening now. I'm going to leave some links below. Um, can't blame Obama. You could probably blame Congress for letting this go through. They didn't read not one of it, uh, not nothing of this of this Affordable Care Act. Um but this has been, every president has been trying to push this through. So it's, it's this government, this Republican is not, a, uh, this Republic is not a Republic anymore. It has turned into a fascist dictatorship. I almost think like, I can't talk to my local representative in Washington state. I have to go through the go between people. So I, I believe they think that they are kings and queens and princes of, and princes. Um, so, you know, when I have to go through their, you know, local little, you know, people to even get a message to them, which they never get, then they are, they're useless to me because they're not listening to me if I can't talk to them face to face or on the phone. Can't do it. Can't even go to an event that they, you know, you want to talk to Patty Murray, pay a thousand dollars to have dinner with her. Come on, this is not how we run America. So it's time to bring it down. Time to start doing small communities. Come up with a solution. Affordable Care Act has been in plan for over 100 years. Uh, it's just been called universal health care or other things. But it's socialized medicine. And we're going to pay for it, and our grandchildren are going to pay for it really bad down the road. I'll leave links below. I love you guys. Peace, love, truth. Hope everyone's having a good day. I am trying to have a good day. And I'm out.